What's up guys, we're back here with Ark World and we got an update, small update with a little bit of things that did happen. So let's talk about these two items, the Faint Fault Stone Box and this Lucky Scroll Box. So you get these from the Blue Salt Shop. They're under the Special tab. And so your stars are still there. If you are wondering, the stars are right there under Fund. Excuse me, but the special tab has these special boxes. And you'll notice that these cost Archeum. So this one right here, it actually gives you Faint Fault Stone, which it's a kind of a mistranslation. It's supposed to be Faint Rift Stone. So, you know, we'll send that in, report that to them. But this is a Faint Rift Stone box. So inside this box, you're going to get 50 of these guys, 100 of these guys, 300 of these guys, 500 of these guys, or 3,000 of these guys. So approximately 1,000 Archeum is worth around 7 BSLT. We're rounding up a little bit. Uh, it's, you know, you could also just round down and say it's worth 6. But if we go take a look at the price of these faint stones, we can see here. So if we get 50 of them, it's going to be worth approximately 0.9 BSLT, which means you lost a lot of money. Uh, if we go and do 100 of these guys, you're still going to lose a whole bunch of money. It's simply doubling that 9. So you're at 1.8. Uh, uh, if we go up to 300 of these things, we're still losing money right there, 5.4. Uh, only when we end up getting into like 3,000 do we actually start profiting on these things. So if we get 3,000, we, you know, we've now profited a whole bunch, 54 BSLT. Um, but let's go take a look at those boxes again to see what are the other values that you can get. So you can get a 500 one as well. So 500 would be a slight profit. If we do 500. And this is all on today's current prices on the auction house. So 500 would be 9 BSLT. So in order to actually profit on that box, you have to hit either a 500 or a 3,000 in that box to make it worthwhile. So definitely not worth doing, in my opinion. The next up, this is a big one. This change will take some time to actually figure out if it's worthwhile or not. This is a lucky scroll box. So what they did is you can no longer craft lucky scrolls. So the only way to get lucky scrolls now in the game is currently through this RNG box. You can get all three of the lucky scrolls here. You can get the artisan, which is for tier four. You can get the conquerors, which is tier five. And you can also get the illustrious lucky scroll, which is tier six. You're either gonna get one, three, or 10 scrolls out of the box here. So once again, we'll go look at the lucky scrolls on the auction house and see the current prices. Uh, so again, uh, you know, it's seven BSLT, but that is a 1,500. So you're saying approximately 10 BSLT to buy that box. So if you get one of these scrolls, that means you've lost a lot of BSLT. If you end up getting three of these scrolls, you kind of broke even on the artisans. If you end up getting 10 of them, you've actually made a good chunk of money, 38 BSLT. But then it goes into the question of, do these scrolls actually sell? And you'll look on the auction house, they don't really sell. So even though it says that you made money if you got 10 of these guys, you're not really gonna be selling them and moving these scrolls that frequently. They did sell for around like two to 2.9 BSLT, and then about 100 of them per day. So right around there, you'll still be making profit if you sell them at two BSLT if you get the 10. Next up, we have the bigger scrolls. And these are the Conqueror's Scrolls. These guys are up at 7 BSLT. So if you end up opening one of these guys, you're doing okay. You know, you lost a little bit of BSLT for saying that one box costs around 10 BSLT. You get one of these things, it's about 7 BSLT. Do they actually sell? Uh, not too much. They, you know, sell a little bit at 7 BSLT, but not too many of these guys sell. Uh, they sell more frequently around the 5 BSLT mark. As you can see there. So then if you get three of these guys, you're going to be making a slight profit on this. And if you get 10 of them, you're going to be making a pretty big profit on that box. And lastly is the jackpot of the ones, the illustrious scrolls here. These guys are currently at 10 BSLT. 
And let's take a look, do they actually sell? So 41, 87, 29, 141. So these guys do sell a little bit more um, than the other ones. And these guys will actually probably be selling more and more in the future as more people get to tier six weapons and armors and tier six weapons and armors actually has three bonus stats which means you're going to have to be spending a lot more of these scrolls to kind of re-roll those stats so the blue ones are kind of what you want they are like the jackpots of this batch and a decent amount of them do sell for around 10 bslt each so if you open up one of these blue scrolls, you are going to be breaking even roughly on the box. If you open up three of them, you've now profited about 20 BSLT. And if you end up opening up the jackpot of jackpots, you get 10, which means you made 100 BSLT. Take out that original 10, and it means you profit around 90. So that is all with the current today values. As time goes on, these probably will increase in value, at least the blue ones is my opinion, depending on how rare they are out of the box. Another thing to note is in these boxes, there's a special bonus. So if you are buying these boxes, you do want to actually purchase 100 of the boxes at a time because you see down here, it says bonus. So when you click on the bonus, if you purchase 100 of these boxes at a time for 100,000 Arcium on this one, you're gonna get a bonus of 10. So we don't wanna do that because that we just talked about that would be terrible. On the lucky scroll box, it's the same thing. You go down to your 100 and you click on that and you can see there's a bonus of 10 boxes. So if you are doing the gamble for lucky scroll boxes, which may be worthwhile in the future when the, the lucky scroll prices do change and adjust a little bit more, this is where you'd wanna buy them. You'd wanna buy a bunch of 100, so you get 10 for free, and it's gonna cost you 150,000 BS uh, or Archeum. So is this change good or bad? We don't know, but what it does do is it actually gives another Archeum sink and a reason for people to spend more Arcum in game. So as the Lucky Scrolls dry up, I think this box might actually become quite profitable. It all depends on supply and demand though. If there's a lot of people that are opening up these boxes, then the boxes won't be worth much. If not a lot of people open these boxes and then there's only a couple, then that means the contents of the boxes will generally become more valuable. So it is all a give and take based on how many people are opening the boxes, how many people are using the scrolls, for example. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if they do anything else or if they adjust these rates or whatnot. Uh, I personally opened up one of these fate fault, stall, fate fault stone boxes because I wanted to see what was in it. And I pulled 50 of the, of the stone of rifts. So, uh, and then there was another person in chat who posted that, did 50. So obviously the odds are probably in your favor to pull the low, low, low quantities of 50s of these things. And same thing in the lucky scroll box, you're probably gonna pull one scroll every time you open up a box. Very rarely will you pull anything else. That's my guess on these things. Let me know, post some videos, open up some of these boxes. Let me know what you think of these things. Do you like the change of removing these scrolls from crafting? Do you like them being just purchasable by BSL or Archeum now? Uh, let me know. Love to hear from you guys. And then they did discuss a lot about Asian 2. So we'll do another video on Asia 2 because that was the big meat and potatoes of the update here. Websites up, you know, new new uh, loading screen for Asian 2, pre-registration, land in minting info. Uh, there's a pre-sale pack, which is actually really good. We'll talk about that in another video. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.